after often I've done one of these uh, face to face video things uh, I can't stand looking at this for the start of I look in the mirror and I see somebody else but never mind I just thought I'd have a, a little chat about uh, the concept of the New World Order because for many many years throughout my uh, research and study of the New World Order I was I was very much uh, hoodwinked through uh, alternative media um, an alternative media like uh, the crap, the likes of Jones and uh, Ike spin out. You know, they, they, for me, they just spin doctors and they spin all this shit out over and over again. Uh, basically, make profit and, and money out of you. But that's up to you, you know. The, uh, I call them the gods of alternative media. Whilst the uh, the real the real. Uh, researchers and the real truth seekers are uh, pretty much ignored and forgotten and these uh, real, tr real truth seekers and researchers have never been listened to much uh, for the past 50 years and have been warned us about the U uh, New World Order for the past 50 years. It, it's pretty incredible when you think about that really and you see some of these old videos And one such uh, video about uh, unsaid UNCED is uh, pretty much says everything and it includes uh, just right at the very end the most important aspect of the New World Order and uh, the, the most powerful, the most powerful thing they use which is love and I've been talking about this for many many times. Uh, over the last couple of years uh, and being totally ignored as, as usual um, and then, as you'll hear at the uh, end of the video they call it uh, the fourth world and uh, to, to me it isn't to me it's, it's been, I've simplified it so much now that it's just numbers for me like I've got on my neck there I've got 777 plus the uh, Taurus, the horns of the bull, with the sun in the middle of it. And that uh, represents the three and the one. It's 777 makes three equals one to me. And one being the, uh, the one true God, which is creation, which is love. Love is God. It's as simple as that. And any amount of crap and fucking rubbish you listen to on the internet about love because love's been completely uh, turned on said love has been turned to hatred on this planet because the uh, the elites have learned to use the energy of love and mirrored it to hatred you know as most of you know it's satanism now you know it's not love of the earth it's not love of people, it's pure Satanism. Do as thou wilt, you know, destroy the fucking earth. And people do, and everybody does it, quite unaware, or, or maybe a little aware, but they don't do anything about it anyway. About two years ago now, no, it's not even that long, it's about... Uh, Sometime, sometime, like begin the last year, I, uh, I got that moment where I was, uh, I became fully aware, and I realised how simple it was, and I realised this, I, I realised the whole concept of the the numbers and what they mean, you know, it's just like uh, the new world order is the first world, the second world, and the third world, you know. And uh, I'm afraid Russia's involved with that, so don't get any idea that Russia is a world uh, saviour, because it isn't. And don't get any ideas that uh, BRICS is a world saviour, because it isn't. It's just controlled opposition. 
the same as everything is. Everything is just control opposition, and that that includes the alternative media. Really, I'm telling you, and that's a fact. There's very few of us on there that knows the game and knows the whole picture, the whole story, and know the whole game. All we are is a few of us, independent researchers, telling the truth. You know, we have no gimmicks. We have no large, great groups. In fact, our numbers are put down by media. You know, we, we put things on uh, YouTube and stuff like that. You know, and our, our numbers are torn down. And it's torn by, down by uh, simple consumerism. You know, you know, if it's brain dead, it'll be on YouTube and it'll be millions if it's brain dead. It's as simple as that. You know, you know you've got fucking uh, Ike and you've got Jones on there with millions. Why's that? Say no more. It's just so easy. So you have the first world, second world, third world. First world war, second world war, and the third world war. And the third world war has always been going on. We're in the third world war now. And the one, God, love, you have it yourself, you know, you have it yourself. It's in the right eye, right? It's in the left eye and it's in your third eye, which goes up to the one. That's your pineal gland and that's your contact with your higher power. That's your contact with the uh, universal consciousness. Now the universal consciousness is a hell of a lot more powerful than the world's consciousness. And the world's consciousness is ruled over by the new world order. And like I keep telling people, this is a spiritual war. It's nothing but a war of energy. You know, you get your money, you get your paper money. All that is, all that represents is energy. The energy you put into work, and you'll get paid for the amount of energy you put into that work. It's all about energy. Everything is about energy. And the only way we're going to beat this is through the energy of love. We've got to mirror that. We've got to turn that round. And once again make that into altruistic love. Love of one another. Love of family. You know, love of community. Love of country. Because all these things have been destroyed. And have been destroyed on purpose. You know, I've spent years trying to get simple messages like these across and just people just don't listen. They're so involved in their own little bloody planet, their own little fucking agendas. They just cannot see past such a, a simple concept as love. How shameful is that? How ignorant is that? How bloody ignorant. You don't know the truth at all. Most of you don't know the truth at all. You have no fucking idea what's going on on this planet. No idea whatsoever. You're pointing a finger at puppets like Cameron. Well, it's all his fault. What do you think Cameron is? He's just a shadow. He's just a shadow, that's all he is. He's just a, a vessel that the New World Order uses to give it that. He doesn't do anything. He's powerless. We aren't powerless. He's a hater. He hates mankind. He's a fucking monster. It's just so simple and I just wish people would grasp it. I find it horrifying. I find it horrifying the amount of backstabbing, the amount of gobshite, and the, the amount of apathy within so called activist movements. Activist? I have more activity on the first thing in the morning on the fucking toilet 
It's bollocks. It's a load of fucking crap. Protests. <laughs> protests are all controlled opposition, especially the protests by unions, because all the unions are owned and have been owned for decades. In fact, most unions have been owned for bloody hundreds of years. I call people deadheads and I call them zombies. And I call most of the alternative media the same thing because it's true. I haven't got a clue. How do we fight this thing? How do we fight it? Yeah, well, well what can we do? You know, what can we do? It's fucking simple. All you got to do is love each other and care for each other. And show that. Get into fucking action. Get into the bloody community and show a bit of love and a bit of care. And a bit of action. And this concept that uh, it's all peace and love, that, that is a false concept. That is a New Age philosophy born in the fucking 50s and 60s. Once again, controlled opposition. It's all very sickening, all very sickening indeed, and we're just not going to get anywhere if people just don't get off the lazy bone hard or bloody asses, and especially the disabled. We're legion. How many disabled people are there in this fucking country? How many people slaving away part time and slaving away working for bugger all? Where do you see all these people? When we have austerity marches and all that, where do you see them? When you hold a protest outside of a dole centre, are they all crowding round you, supporting you? No, they're off, quick as a fucking shot. Don't the faces shown on television? Don't the show, faces shown on the uh, internet? They're so shit scared. They're getting sanctioned. And that's what it's all about. It's fear. The world's controlled by fear, and all it's made is a well full of cowards who don't raise the bloody head above the parapet, you know. They don't do a fucking thing. You may as well stay in, stay in your flats like this with the curtains closed and the front door locked 24 hours a day, 24 7. That's all your life is. You're living in a bunker. That's all you're doing. You're just living in a bunker. A bloody air raid shelter. With your hands over your ears and your eyes shut. You know, I, I see a lot of... I see a lot of people talking about stuff like this. Completely emotionless. They're like robots. Like robots, you have no emotion whatsoever. And yet they're talking about uh, people getting killed. And people being made homeless. And it's like looking at the fucking robot on the screen. You know, where's the emotion? Where's the passion? You know, you, is that something we can't use anymore? Emotions and passion. Words. If you make gods, they'll kill you. I'm telling you that for nothing. And uh, the gods of alternative media are killing us. And a great general public are killing us. We're all killing each other. We're all killing each other with love, reversed. That the new world order are in control of and use. They use that energy against us in the world's consciousness. From the world's consciousness down to the local consciousness, down into your consciousness itself. The way you think, the way you feel, the way you act. Just ask, just ask yourself how you feel, act and think. 
with other people. And you ask yourself whether you really love other people. And that includes your family. And I'm not talking about the sicky, sicky love. The wine and fucking roses, all that shite, all that romantic crap. I mean real love. God, God's fucking honest energy. Love is God. I'm on about that kind of love. I'm on about the kind of love that you would kill to protect. That you would kill to protect your family and the children. And every child, every child on this planet at this moment in time is being abused. Just the same as the rest of us. We're just something, we're just pawns moved about a board by the new world order. And there's very, very few of us, like me, that are trying to get above that, to rise above it and be independent. And support other people and trying to get real knowledge out there, real truth out there, instead of a load of fucking bollocks about fucking UFOs. And the Holocaust is a fucking lie. Well, fuck the fucking Holocaust. Fucking hell. How many billions have been killed? And you harp on about the bastard Holocaust and Hitler's fucking great. Hitler's a fucking monster, same as any of the others. Same as Putin. Same as Cameron. Same as Obama. They're all fucking monsters. Are you blind? They're not fucking lizards. They're not Lizzie fucking bird, bird and fucking lizard. She's a fucking monster. She's evil. They're all evil. Simple as that. Should be plain enough to see. And you should be plain enough to see that evil implanted in your family. Because you're all fucking same. You're all not perfect, no matter how you try. And there's things you can't see. There's games they, they've played with you that you just can't see. The way they educate your kids. The way they, they educate your kids these days to hate you. For not supporting the green movement. And sustainability, that load of bollocks. That's just another method of controlling you and unpopulating the planet and taking the money out of your back pocket you work too hard for. I don't know. I'm making, I'm making real changes in my own community. I'm doing something. I'm getting into action. I'm working with a group to create other groups to enable independence and coping strategies to deal with this evil in this country now and fighting it. And fighting it to win, not to lose. What the fuck are you doing for anybody? Tell me. Tell me what the fuck are you doing to help people? Going out and raising a fucking flag. Just having a day out. There's nothing wrong with that. It's fun. It's just a fun day out. I'm going to continue to do that myself with me, my brothers and sisters of the abused, the sexually abused, the mentally abused, the physically abused, the drug abused. We're all abused. Can you not see that? And all those are methods are uh, the new world order spawned of abuseness. Drugs, sex. Christ, if they stop the sex tra trafficking, the drugs, the world would come to an end. The financial world. Just for fuck's sake, just give it a go, eh? You know, just learn what true love is. Love is God. It's as simple as that.
And it's a simple programme. You just do what you can. And you just do it in a love and respecting way. It's as simple as that. It's not complicated. And the New World Order is simple as uh, 777 makes 3, makes 1. Not 4, 1. And uh, I would ask the audience to take with a slight grain of salt all that he has said about me. And I want to start there a little bit of my talk to you on a somewhat different vein. You see, in order to further the ideals of the world wilderness concept and to prevent the concept and this concept just to remain an ideal, it is of paramount importance to find ways and means of finding and promoting its rationale. There are these ways and means of putting this concept into effect and overcoming or minimizing some of the problems set out by the speakers in this Congress, such as pollution, prevention of acid rain, waste disposal. There are alternative methods and a harmless alternative methods for energy and they're available. Alternative uses of water resources not involving vast inundations of land or displacing humans and its indigent wildlife, harnessing wave energy, solar energy, wind power, just to mention a few. To overcome the chilling doom-laden prognostications of Dr. Irving Mincer's greenhouse effect Perhaps it could be possible to utilize CO2, carbon dioxide, one of its main causes, to manufacture dry ice to maintain the polar caps and the actual temperature of the ice there and maintain their present temperature. Innovative and modern technology, world waste material collected and perhaps burnt in volcanic areas or buried so deep in the earth in the wilderness desert areas of the mid-Sahara where nobody goes or in the empty quarter in Arabia or the Gobi Desert but all these ideas and visions some far-fetched and above all the continuation of this Congress needs money. A start has been made by the thoughts and care of one man Michael Sweetman his ideas have had lip service paid to them by some of our speakers here during the Ken Denver conference. The meetings now of the new concept of an international conservative banking, conservation banking program involves all sectors of the human community. Governmental and intergovernmental agencies, the public and private agencies, large charitable foundations, as well as ordinary individuals worldwide. Michael Sweetman has written the foreword to this concept. Its final form will no doubt be altered, watered down, or widened. But this convention must put forward this charter. And with the collective wisdom available here today, the charter can be enhanced embracing those who have given their thoughts in the Denver Public Forum. By thinking forward as to how to reach out to the public at large, to every corporate entity throughout the world, to put aside, hopefully tax-free, a part of their profits to fund our ecological and environmental protection. Ladies and gentlemen, Every country has its own problems, its indigenous peoples and its wildlife. This International Conservation Bank must know no frontiers, no boundaries. Its funds must be used constructively and not, and not to be challenged into greedy hands or weapons of destruction. I hesitate to link this bank with world wilderness. I would like to link it with our survival as a human race. This, our generation, 
must not be cursed by our descendants, if we have any, as to the greatest destructors and squanderers of the world's resources. That great philosopher and cleric, Payard de Chardin, wrote, and I quote, Man can harness the winds, the waves, and the tides, but when he can harness the energy of love, then for the second time in the history of the world, man will have discovered fire. Michael Sweetman. Michael Sweetman, your love for the world wilderness concept has given you the necessary fire in your belly to produce the germ of the future needs of this concept. And I have great pleasure in asking you to put it forward.